Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Olivia, and if you guys are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today, I have an unboxing. So this is actually like take two for this bag. Um, I didn't post the original unboxing video. Um, it was disappointing because, you know, when I first got this bag, it was perfect. It looked perfect until I looked at it, you know, in more detail where it was a little crooked, like the way the bag was. So anyways, I don't want to ramble on about this, but I had contacted Essence. I think that's how you say their website. They're a, a website based company. I'm not sure if they have an actual um, storefront or not, but um, they were really great about um, you know, getting the item shipped back and then finding, getting me a replacement. Um, because of the whole COVID-19 situation, um, it has caused some delay. So it took maybe like two weeks to, um, send the item back and get a replacement. But, you know, given this, um, situation, I think it's still fairly, it's fair. So, um, I have the bag and, Fingers crossed that I have better luck with this one and I'm hoping that it is as perfect as it can be. I really, really want this bag and I hope that I'm satisfied with it. Um, I, I got it a, at a good price, but it's still a significant amount of money. And so if you're spending that much, you obviously, I obviously <laughs> expect it to be, you know, at my standards. So, um, without further interruptions or further babbling on for me, I'm going to go ahead and unbox this. So I just got this package. It is from Canada and my mail lady just dropped it off. So, um, let's go ahead and open it. I'm going to open it from the bottom. It's a smaller box. bottom. So I'll do it from the bottom. I don't want to like poke the bag or something. Okay. So we'll have some bubble wrap. And I use these to stuff my bags so that it can keep its shape. So I actually I'm gonna make sure I keep that. Um, I believe if you order any bags like Saint Laurent or Gucci from stores other than their actual store, I don't know if that makes sense, <laughs> like other than the actual Gucci store or um, the St. Laurent store, from my experience, they don't provide you boxes. So this bag doesn't come with a box, but they do um, package it really well. I'm so excited to actually have this bag in my collection. I've been wanting um, the style for a very long time. So I really hope this works out. So here is the Fiducci dust bag. And um, they actually put it in another one of their dust bag right here and this is the bag notice how absolutely beautiful this color is I love it when I saw this bag um, I think the first time I saw it was um, on Shea Whitney's five um, handbags to start your collection. She had mentioned getting a pop of color in there and I saw this bag and I was like, oh my God, I love it, love it. 
I, again, have been wanting this style of bag for a very long time. Um, and I'm glad that I held off and, and waited to actually get this one because, you know, I already have a lot of black bags. Um, so I really needed a pop of color in my collection. So this is the Gucci Marmot in um, the velvet. No, wait, I think it's called Ruben color. And it is in the size mini. And you open it, there's actually like a latch here. You push up, it opens the bag. So let's see. Okay, so my previous bag, like this whole area right here just looked crooked and it's really picky about it. So let's take a look. Let's just look, I'm gonna close it up. And this definitely looks a lot better, I think. It kind of, um, I don't know if that's normal, that it sticks out like that. So guys, if you do have a velvet style of this bag, any color, please let me know if this is normal right here because I feel like that's a, kind of sticks out a lot. I hope this doesn't bother me. I really want this bag and, you know, being the material as um, velvet, I don't know if that's how these bags really should be. But so far, I, I think it's even. I really think it looks better than the first one that I got. The color is just gorgeous. I'm gonna turn on the light really quick so we can see, like this is natural right, light right here, um, but when I'm looking at it from behind, it looks darker. See like how it has like, it looks darker. It just depends on like where the light hits it. And I really love that because I just feel like it's a chameleon type of bag. <laughs> so um, it's very beautiful, so beautiful. Let me turn on the light. I wanna see if you guys can see like a different, it looks, the shade um, looks a little different in the light, which it does. So you can see this is how it looks. And I actually like the natural light better, so I'm gonna turn off this light. Um, so let me, Let me remove this handle. And as you can see, it is wrapped in there. I don't know if this is like factory, like Gucci factory handle wrapping or what. But I mean, it is wrapped in there, so, and I can't, I can't really move it around unless I remove this, but, sorry guys, my hair. But so far, I think it looks beautiful. And the first thing, again, that I was looking for is this area right here, the, the front flap just looked uneven um, for the, my first Gucci one that I got. So I sent it back. They sent me this re replacement and I think it is beautiful. And I think based on my first impression of this particular bag, I think it's a keeper. So let me just open this up. Again, you, you push this clasp up like that. And I saw, I'm like, I hope that is not pet hair right there. It doesn't look like it, but so when you open it up, you have like this beautiful purplish um, leather right here. And the inside is like a light pinkish silk 
lining color. It's very beautiful. And um, it does have the, let's take a look. Um, the previous bag that I got didn't come with like a little, that little strip of, um, like a little sample sheet of the fabric and I don't think this one came with it as well. So I don't know if that's normal. Again, um, I didn't order this from the Gucci store. So maybe it doesn't come with it if you don't get it from the Gucci store. But um, here is the, I guess the control number, but maybe not because it just says one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. So tell me if this is a little weird. Interesting. I don't know. Is that, should it have its own unique control number? Let me know in the comments, but there's like nothing else in here. It has the Gucci tag here and this is, there's a control number here on this thing. So, I don't know, maybe there's a different. That's so weird, look at that. Um, there's nothing else that came with it. So, weird. But the bag itself is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. So you can wear this um, over the shoulder like this. I'm sorry guys, I don't have a lot of room here, but you can wear it like that. You can wear it um, with a strap, single strap. Like if you pull this, it'll go down and then you can wear it um, on your shoulder, like long ways, and also cross body. And you can also use this grip of your arm like this. But I will try to insert some mod shots if I ever learn how to do that. But this video is solely just to unbox um, first impression of this Gucci Montmartre in the Ruben Velvet and size mini. And I am five, two and a half. And this is how this bag compares to my frame. I typically wear a size small in women's shirts and then um, in jeans size 27. So I think this is a perfect size for my frame. I wanted to get the small one, but I, you know, when I'm going to be using this bag, I feel like I'm going to be using it mostly like in the evening, date nights, um, special occasions. So I don't anticipate on putting too many things, too many items in here. So I really don't need all of that space. So that's why I opted for the mini size and I believe I made a great choice. So this is it for today. And thank you guys so much for clicking this video and watching it. And um, I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy out there. And I hope you guys have a blessed day. If you haven't already, please click the like button and also the subscribe button so that you will be notified whenever I post new videos. So um, I hope to see you guys on my next video. Bye.